Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Llamaverse channel. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can get a safe entry and what you should be looking for in some of these projects um, rather than just degening into a degen project and hoping it goes up. When you can be getting into a project with a safe entry, so you'll, you'll stress less. You don't have to check the charts 24-7. And overall, it will just be a good hold. And I'm going to go over some potential projects, projects we already talked about. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. So I'm going to be kind of showing a couple projects here. Um, I have four. There's many more out there. But these are just ones I want to be looking at. So all of these have been out for a good bit. Um, first one is Zara Games. Zara Games is a um, Web3 game project, gaming project. This project has been out for a while now. I'm pretty sure it was a free mint um, that went up to like 0.45. Um, it has now been sitting at like 0.2. And if this loads, I can kind of show you guys the chart. Um, there you go. So yeah, th this collection has been sitting at like 0 0.17, 0 0.2 for a while now. Not much volume, but has been holding up very well. Uh, recently, we talked about this project, called it on Magma um, and, and Llamaverse, and we put an entry of 0 0.17, 0 0.2. Uh, if you go back to our older videos of me talking about potential entries, how to find entries, you can understand why this would be a good entry. So we got in around uh, end of January for around, I think 0 0.2, 0 0.18 offers were being accepted and floor price went up to 0 0.25. Um, but I still like this one to go higher. Um, the reason I like this type of project um, is because this is an, a well-established project. And what I mean by that is the team is fully doxed, right? They're not just gonna rug out of nowhere. They're building a legit brand, a legit company and a legit, you know, product and in 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 game for people and holders to to have access to, and it's just overall a legit company, right? We see PFP projects launching, uh, and don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of PFP projects, right? You know, I, probably PFP community projects are my favorite projects to get into and hold and flip and just be a part of in general, um, but those are a lot riskier than projects like these. Right. If you go look at Azar Games, you could be been accumulating this 0.717 area for for months now, um, as they continue to develop, continue to push out news, continue to have updates, and you'll be in profit, right? Because you're 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 investing in a project that's less riskier than these PFP projects. It's been out for a while, has shown that holders are you know just undercutting the floor stable. And, you know, the key is finding a project where they have full price that's stable, where they're continuing to update and develop the project, because there's a good chance you'll be able to make profit off of that unless they randomly rug. Um, but yeah, next one is going to be uh, Webiverse. This one we talked about uh, at 0.2 um, and they shot up actually recently to 0.5. So this is one that really did well for us. Um, same concept with Azara Games, right? Legit company, legit brand, legit team. Um, everything about them is legit. Everything they're doing with when it comes to marketing, when it comes to developing, what they're working on, it's all legit. You know, they're doing what they're saying they they, they want to do. Um, and they have a bunch of different drops, uh, I believe, coming up as well. Um, but they have something that's working, and they're developing it, and they're 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 building new things, right? And you can see this has held uh, around 0.17 to 0.2, kind of same as Azara Games. Um, has been very, very stable. You can see how stable this floor price has been. Uh, they had an AMA recently. Um, before that, we called it at like 0.18 or 0.2 as an entry. And they shot up um, from there uh, to 0.5. So another great example. Uh, Worlds Beyond is another great example as well. This one's kind of already moved already. But it just shows you that these... these and one thing these have in common is a lot of these are, you know, games. Um, they're, they're things that you know, people would really put their money into and invest in rather than just a PFP with nothing else, right? Again, I really like PFP projects, but these are the, the safer bets when it comes to, you know, an actual company, an actual brand, an actual, you know, team behind the project that's going to continue to develop whatever they're working on, right? It just makes more sense to get into these projects and, and put your well-earned money into this rather than 
a PFP project. Uh, both have potential, but this seems like the safe, safe route to me. But Worlds Beyond is one. Uh, I haven't looked at their graph, but I'm assuming they maybe have been holding up at like 0.1 for a while. Um, but we'll check that out. MPL is another great one. Uh, these have been holding up around 0.08 ETH. I know they recently, I think, launched their game. I believe they recently launched their they launched some tournament. Um, this is one I'll, 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 I'll watch. Uh, they've just been holding up at like this area for a while now. So um, again, it's not guaranteed these will always pump, but you know, putting your money into a project that has people behind it that are doxxed and they actually really want to build something special. Um, even though it may fail, I, I feel like that's just a, a, um, a better risk or less of a risk than just getting into a non dox PFP community, right? Um, but yeah, you see, yeah, Worlds of Beyond, another great example. They've been out for a bit. Uh, I will kind of see what they've been looking like before for a couple months, but it looks like they've been holding up 0.01 or 0.1 ETH for a while. They had little pumps up to like 0.2. So they were charts kind of scattered all over the place, but like 0.1 seems like to be the low. Um, so again, if you have conviction in this project, um, that has, you know, a legit team, they're building something cool. It's working holders, you know, can actually use this, this game, use this product, then, and you have conviction and entering at point one ETH and accumulating here. Every time it gets down there, you would be up pretty nicely, you know, over a two X return, um, while reversed over a 2.5 X return, uh, Zara games. Not like a 2x, but like a 1.5x return. Um, so it just shows you that these well-established projects are the ones to get into. Wants to find the areas where it holds. And if you have conviction in it, accumulate in those areas. Um, follow the smart money. Follow the whales that are getting into these areas. Um, and I, if it, if your conviction's right, you're, you're really going to make a big return off these type of projects rather than just um, getting into a, uh, a DJ type project. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful, a uh, short video, but it's, it's a topic I wanted to cover as I see a lot of people saying they're losing ETH, they're losing on DJ projects. Um, maybe this is something that maybe is your route. You know, uh, I see a lot of people say they don't have time to look at charts 24 seven. They don't have time to to do all this research to do, you know, to look at volume 24 seven and see when to list um, with these with like Webiverse, I at under point two by near point two. And you don't got to look at the chart because you can see from past data, these have held up at point two ETH for a long time. It would be very weird if they just randomly dipped and crashed unless something big happened, which is unlikely with a team like this behind this project, with a team like Azara behind this project, very unlikely these just crash out of nowhere. So this puts less stress on you as someone that maybe have, that might be busy uh, with a nine to five job, with, 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 you know, anything, right? Anything that's keeping you busy. These are the projects you might want to try getting into besides DJing into a project, missing the top and then just crashing and you lose profits, right? So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a sub, like, comment, share with your friends. We'll be back at it again with another video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.